Let's mm, get ourselves mm. going. We're live. Hey, you know what we should do? We should do this. This is 2OF Entertainment. Well, here we go. It's the man that promises you nothing and delivers. It's the veritable man motor mouth. It's Road Woods who feels the need to call himself Rob Vega. It somehow makes him feel important. Anyway, do have a listen and try not to throw up. Every time I hear that, I feel like a beatnik. It's all da I do. Da da do, da da do, da da do, da do. Very nice. And it's nice that you have the dead queen's voice. I like that. You know, you well, go, here we go. Oh, yes, go, Stephen. Right? She's back and she's with us. Yes, hello, everybody. So nice to see you all. Yeah, she's yeah, she's definitely here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dead check from the from the live on. You'll so live that. on. Uh, okay. What do you got so today, big guy? What do I got today? I don't know. You said I yesterday you I had would... topics. <laughs> uh, I, I thought topics what I would do. I thought what I would do is um we would we would talk about what's going on in your part of the world today. Oh, okay. Well, um, by the way, CL is here in Austin city limits, and then we had F one. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So it um it'll be a question, and then we can just see what happens. All right. So the question I have, I and I know other people have thought of this, and I'm sure it's come up, is increasingly yeah. uh, everyone's going on about the the fact that the the Kamala Harris campaign was really short and was being very short and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And and then I watched some other um, newscasts, YouTube things, whatever, discussions. Sure. Sure. And the topic of how long, and, and no funny business yet, how long the campaign period in the U.S. is, is quite interesting. It was quite, it came up quite a lot. Right. Why is it so, why does it go on for so long? And because you realize in other parts of the world, this this is a done and dusted thing in a month or two. Boom, that's right. it. Announced elections. Um, I think France is one of the the quickest, and oh, a couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah, but seriously, it, it's interesting how they announce the the election. Right. There's a couple of weeks of the campaign. They have the election, boom, and it's all done and dusted. And a couple in in uh, at most a couple of months, two or three months right. top, right? And it's done from election announcement to uh, the end. Whereas. Um, Whereas with the U.S. system, I mean, everyone knows it's going to be November somewhere every four years. Done. That's right. it. So you, you've you almost got the election date announced years before. Yeah. And, and I mean, let's be honest, the campaign seems to start pretty much after the election for the next one. Right. So that's fine. That's okay. The discussions begin. Um, premature, but, you know, whatever. That's Ooh, another premature thing. discussions. I've heard about those. Premature first, discussions. I knew you'd like that. I knew, I knew, I knew you'd like all, that. I did talk to my friend, One Hung Lo, and his brother, Three Dragging on the Floor. About yeah. This. So, what do you have to mm. So here's the problem, or here's the issue now, and then we'll go into the, mm. your question. The issue is this. There's another question election. I have. There's yeah, another big question. This could be our last election. So, yes. This could be our last election, so we should enjoy it. Go ahead. So. Oh, oh, the other question. All right. So. Yeah. This long campaign period, which right. I don't, which some would, might suggest doesn't really, I mean, why do people take so long to figure out who they want to vote for? That that's obviously the discussion that comes up. Um, I mean, I, I'm I'm Switzerland on this issue. I I, right. I, I kind of like the fact that the U.S. takes forever. I think it's nice. It gives you gives you a chance to explore the issues. But one has to say, really, four years or <laughs> it's a long time, or yeah. or. When would you say, I mean, what would you say the campaign period is? What would you say real? I mean, when the primaries are what, a year out? Yeah, or they're yeah. a year from, it's about a year. So you can say it's about a year. Um, I think and then the I was, problem is Americans are stupid. Full stop. We're, okay. We're, but I mean, we're, dumber than a, we're dumber than a box of rocks. Right. In, in, defense, in defense of Americans. And, I'm, okay. and it's interesting that I'm defending Americans. But anyway, that's yes, interesting. But in defense of Americans, um, yeah. Europeans Europeans are stupid too. So well, yeah. everyone's stupid, but we're yeah, exactly right. everyone is things. everyone is stupid. So right. you can't really. I don't know if that's yes, really a basis for. Yeah, we oh, have this, this here's, long, here's long is. chat discussion campaign period because Americans are stupid because Europeans are stupid too. Right, but, but they European seem to elections go quicker. like 
fifth, right. But European elections, even in mm. whether it's in Asia, Europe, um, mm. the, your yeah. continent, they go a week yeah. and a half. In the mm-hmm. Middle East, it's like 15 minutes. It's like I'm running for the, the cabinet. All right, good, you're yeah. done. We're done. In and America, our problem is, is that we think we're special, and we're not. Um, and, the, and the issue because of that is we have to keep someone in front of you, and, and, and running for president is now more of um, – it's almost like trying to win the Academy Award, right? I've got to be in front of you for four years so you know who i am you know what i stand Mm. for and it's a big money making thing now you have political consultants you've got the republican party the democrat party all it's a big money making it's billions and billions of dollars it's like it's like the defense war machine but it's a a money making machine it's a political machine that just makes money so they want the um the bs to go on as long as possible so if i can the day after the election go look i'm running and i have this four years now to you know, get money and do speeches and get on television and make more money and blah, blah, blah. That's it's okay. Just, mm. It has nothing to so, do with the actual election. Because if you listen to Ms. Harris or Mr. Trump, neither of them have spoken about policy. All they speak about is people eating dogs and that's it. And <laughs> Harris is playing ostrich with her head in the sand and Trump just makes up lies. And Elon, uh, according to Bloomberg, you uh, know, puts them out on X. So I'm not sure. All right. A couple I've, of things. I, Couple yeah. of things. One, so yeah. we've got a guy here who actually made a uh, what would you call it? Like a parody song. I think oh, it's called nice. Eat, "Eating the Cats." Okay, and, it, and it's gone absolutely viral. And he's from here. And is I think yeah. you know what I'm not going to mention his name because bugger him. He doesn't deserve more views courtesy of us. But okay. he it, it is millions, and he's from this part of the world, and it's quite interesting. So that's the first thing I want to say. The I'm second thing I want to the, <laughs> <laughs> the second thing is you. Everyone obviously keeps mentioning um, Musk, Elon Musk, yeah. all the time, and I yeah. see now he's obviously a, a, a big part of the Trump campaign. You know, whatever, fair enough. It's a free country there. Um, mm. I just want to say this. I want to say this very clearly because I've heard a couple of people saying, "Yeah, man, deport him." Blah blah blah. All right, this is what I want to say to the people in America who want to, who want to deport Musk. Back to South Africa. Um, you don't want him. No, no. You can keep you him. Want him. He's yeah, all nice. yours. You gave him citizenship. You can moan what? about the fact of how he got it, because apparently there was an interview recently where he said his brother is he Kimball or Kibble? I don't care what his stupid name is. They were Kibble, you know, like Kibbles, Kibbles. Yeah, sure. anyway, Kibble and bit. Kimball, Kibble. You got it exactly. Yeah. They they were talking about how they were possibly there for a while illegally. Very I don't nice. care about that. I don't care about that. That's your problem. Uh, you keep him. You 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 paid him. You made him. Right. America made him the world's richest man. So yeah. you you baked him. You bought him. You broke him. You keep him. He's not. Yeah. Please, for the love of God, don't send him back. Please, please don't do that. All right. So don't do that. Please. Right. He's all yours. Enjoy. Thank you. We appreciate uh, that. What was the third thing? Oh, the third thing was. So what you basically saying is that the length of time of the whole political thing is really about money it's got nothing to yes. do with politics is that is Correct. that what i'm hearing you say yeah nothing because to think do about with politics. it right it's about think money about right it always about money and think about it because if you listen <laughs> to them if you listen to the rhetoric that the two candidates are talking about they have not touched on policy once yes trump is talking about how he's going to increase tariffs and the average mm. american's like yeah let's give it to the chinese let's screw them and i'm like you realize that this pen today costs three dollars and if mm. I add a 5,000% tariff, it now goes up to $50, which means it's going to cost you 70 to 100 to buy it, where the other day it cost you three. And mm. the average American doesn't seem to get that. They're just like, let's stick it to China. And, and, and the other thing that annoys me is that they keep saying, make America great again. I don't know if anybody realizes this. America is already great with all our faults. Our mm. stock market, I our agree. economy I agree. All time, mm. is all time high. Our technology is ahead of everybody, including the Chinese right now. We are yeah. a booming country. And, and the problem is, forgetting the rhetoric, just look at the numbers, and whether it's under Biden or it's a or it's something that Trump gave us or if it's something that Obama gave us and it's just, you know, because everything takes a while to kick in. They, we are at an all-time everything. 
Um, yeah. But nobody, no candidate, and nobody wants to say that. I don't know why. I, like I said, Harris is playing ostrich, so Mr. Trump it is probably going to win. It is so strange. Congratulations. So it is strange. It, it's yeah. almost like she's handing him the election. Thank you, mm. and Mr. Trump. We'll all be, I guess, you'll be our new dictator. You'll be like Putin. Um, and the problem is, is that no one's addressing real issues. Like, I don't give a shit about the immigration problem. You know mm. why? Because the immigrants work hard. They become doctors and lawyers like everybody else. I don't, you know what I care about? I want to know how you're going to take care of the elderly. Mm. Are you going to give health care to everybody? How the poor? Are you going to take care of them? Because what these people keep forgetting is that there's, there's almost 400 million of us here. At some point, you know, the 30 or 40 or 50 million of us that are doing okay, and I mean whether you make a million dollars a year or a billion, makes no difference. There's 300 other million people that don't. And when they start can't affording things, you see all these people running in San Francisco and shoplifting a whole store, right? You see these people going in and shot and under $900, we don't prosecute. When you have 300 million people that decide to take a picnic because you haven't addressed the concerns and all you're worried about is being a dictator, that's a problem. And so no one's addressing the real issues. The Democrats are talking about Jew, or Republicans are Jewish space lasers and this and that and yada, yada, yada. Trump's like, I'm going to solve the Ukraine problem the next day. Sure, because North Korea is going to help Russia now invade um, Ukraine, which now we have World War III. Congratulations. You did a great job. So my whole thing is, is that no one's addressing real issues. They never discuss real issues. It's all about money. It's a game. But unfortunately, this election will be the last time we get to play this game because the oligarch that's going to take over the country is not going to have another election because they won't be able to be fair and they'll find fault and blah, blah, blah. And I read an article, um, even The Economist came out this morning that said America, let me just read this because this is pretty funny. America's economy is bigger and better than ever. So there you go. I mean, like even the economy, and it goes into more well, detail, but even the economy. Okay, everybody, Steve, everybody Steve, saying, Steve. Boom. Steve, I don't know what I, yes. I don't know what I'm going to reply to there, but there's so many things that you brought up, which is quite interesting. I, I will say overall uh, to anybody who is there, who, who who subscribes to this idea, as you said, that the country isn't great, um, mm -hmm. you're a moron. And yeah. and this is some, from someone who has traveled around the world. I have lived in several countries. You've also traveled, and. You can bitch about whatever you like. Yes, I think the healthcare system, well, that's another whole interesting yeah. discussion we could have. Uh, it, it, but it's a popular, it's a common thing that brings up the American healthcare system. Or someone said it's not a healthcare, it's not a healthcare system, it's a healthcare industry. Please be yeah, clear that's about true. that. Yeah. But that's another that's another topic, and I, I don't want to, um, whatever. First, I just want to touch on a couple of things you brought up. You mentioned the immigrant thing. Well, as someone who is a, like like Sting, I was a legal, I was not I L. I was L E A G L. I was a legal alien in New York. I can tell you. I can tell you. I was. I was a. I was an Englishman in New York. I was a legal I alien, I and I. I still. I still have a work visa, which I renew. I keep it going, and in the hope that you know, we, we never know, because I do think it's a terrific place, and there is. I, I, I hear these things where people talk about how broken the immigration system is. It goes on and on and on and on. As someone who's who's been at the door. Okay, yes, I, I did come as a British citizen, but I still had to follow the same rules and the same uh, processes. It's, uh, it's a pretty thorough immigration process, and right. there is a path to legal status, and, and it is there. I, these people who go on about how broken the immigration system is, I mean, there is a letter for every type of immigrant I obviously was an O one. I was an O one uh, visa holder, which is I know this sounds strange, but for people who don't know what that is, it's a an alien of extraordinary ability. So Ooh. then you get things like R, which is religious. Then you get L into company uh, uh, transfers and things like that, and mm -hmm. so it goes right through twenty six letters of the alphabet. It is a very thorough immigration system i'd like to know what people think is broken about it it is a it, it is very it, it's pretty thorough it's well thought out and if you right. want to be legal there is a path for you to do so um i can't speak to people tunneling through holes in the ground and right. all that but i'm not sure and again i don't claim to know this for a fact i'm not sure that that really is the issue uh i think if you're a if you're someone who has 
theoretically manage to get into the country illegally and you are picking oranges or whatever it is that you're doing right. you you're going to be you're going to want to stay you're going to work hard hopefully because where did you come from and why would it be different if you don't work hard anyway that that's that's another that's a whole i didn't want to get into the immigration thing but what i basically wanted to say is it is a very good immigration system that you have um secondly yes the country is great every country has faults uh pick a country i'll tell you what's wrong with it um that's just i mean antarctica good just a bit cold you know um not much of an Im immigration problem and so it goes on i mean we can be flippant about it but it but it's a well it's a good country it is well right. run i said to someone watch who's lived there who's lived in other parts of the world who has tried who has who has walked in properly done it the right way and i can tell you it's an extremely well run country uh, relative mm -hmm. to just about any other country is it perfect shit no of course not but humans aren't perfect which is right. whatever but for people i hear this constant thing how make america great and it's crap it's this it's not crap it's good it's a, mm -hmm. you live in a great country for the love of god enjoy it and stop i mean the things that people moan about you, um, i mean they moan about all the wars going on which they should you can't do that in most countries around the world you can't complain right. about your government you can't you can't do that you can't protest you can't call biden an idiot or trump an idiot you can't do mm -hmm. that they'll lock your ass up um or kill you. i know i know i know um a, a chap i used to train with he is he, he lives in south africa but he was from russia and mm -hmm. and believe me he has laid down how things are in russia for real mm -hmm. how difficult it is now it is a big country there's moscow is actually a very beautiful city he's it shown is. me pictures it, it's a lovely place and and you can do well there but there are certain things you don't do because if you do you're just gone and yeah. you don't have that problem in the u.s you just you, you are it is a i know you joke about it but it is a it is a very free country it is a very free country. You've got two parties bitching about each other. Mm -hmm. a, you can't do that in many places in the world. Um, Our and you should, fathers would roll over it in their grave. They, 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 they would be, they would, they, what, what amazes me is the kids are so unhappy and they're living mm -hmm. in the mansion. And you just go, what? Jeez, like, what, are you, what are you on about? Yeah. And by the way, I think it was Chris Rock or Chris Tuck, I think it might have been Chris Rock, who said, if you're an American citizen, you're lucky. Just yeah. and 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 but, but because you have been lucky, if you don't want to be lucky, then leave, go somewhere yeah. else, just emigrate, deport your ass out of there to somewhere else. But if you're there, if you accept um, the good things, then yeah. for God's sake, I'm not saying you have to vote. First of all, I think you should vote. I do. I agree. I do. I've lived in places where people have fought and died for the right to vote. In fact. The U.S. has a history of people who fought and died so everyone can vote. So yep. there are a lot of people who've put a lot on the line for you and whatever country you're in to vote. And I think an hour or two of your time is really not asking too much to just take part. No one says you have to vote. You don't have the situation in certain countries north of where I live where you, you will be told who to vote for. That's just, you can vote. You can vote for Trump. You can vote for Harris. You have that absolute right, and no one is taking that away from you. What I right. would say, and you would say this too, Stephen, is do some proper homework. I can tell you this now. Neither candidate is going to satisfy everybody. Franklin right. D. Roosevelt. What's the famous quote? You can please some of the people some of the time, all the people some of the time, but not all the people all the time. You're not going to find a candidate. It's just a fact. There will be no candidate that is perfect. You will like Trump for business. You'll hate him for abortion. You'll like Harris for... Uh, some other okay. social issues, you'll hate it for other things. No, but yeah. the thing is, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So what you've got to find out, what your, hang on, your homework is, what is important to me, what is important to my community, what is important to my city? And if I accept the 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 honor, and and it is, I'm not going to use the word privilege, because I hate that word. It's been, it's been right. used, it's been Too watched. Much. But yeah. but the, 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 I guess the luckiness, you are lucky mm -hmm. in a way. Uh, right. It doesn't mean you're rich. You could still be bone ass poor in the states that's a fact you can be poor you can be on the bones of your ass that's true but where you are is um it's one of the best run countries if you were somewhere else trust me if you were on the bones of your ass in the u.s i don't know what you would do where i am that's all i'm saying you would be in even worse shape 
So, and there are programs that people can access. Not, not I know that. No more, Hang there's on. no more programs, though. But there's no well, more. Look, I'm, Steve, I'm not going to get into it. I don't want to get onto a nuts and bolts thing about what is available. There are still a lot of things that are that you have access to, which you don't have access to in countries like where I am and right, around right. the world. They just don't exist. Right. Um, you are on your own for real. You are done. Uh, I, I, you and I can debate about these programs, but there are things that you can do, you can access that I, I actually had, um, I experienced when I was there. So okay. I'm not saying they're perfect, but there are still options for you, which you don't have in many parts of the world. Nothing's perfect, but do some homework, find out about the camp, see what they're about, and 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 don't just don't just accept social media crap. Actually, right. go and delve in. You mentioned all those programs that, that elderly and healthcare and things like oh, yeah. that, and people. Now, but people will be dismissive and they say, well, that's not important to me. And you go, well, wait till you're old. Wait till you're right. sick. It's going to happen. And and th there is an, I guess, I guess, and it's not peculiar to the US. It's it's here too. It's everywhere. People can only see immediately what's around them in their immediate circumstances. And until they have lost someone to cancer or lost someone to gun violence or lost mm -hmm. someone to some healthcare foible, they don't care about that until it happens to them. I'm, I always find it impressive when you get some celebrity whose mother died of cancer, who's now part of the whole cancer movement. And I go, well, that's mm -hmm. cute, but what were you doing before that? And I guarantee you they were like, oh, yeah, cancer, yeah, bad. Mm -hmm. And then it happens to them and they go, yes, I'm an advocate, wear the breast cancer thing. And I find it cute that suddenly that, that issue, and people go, yeah, look at him, John Smith. He's such a advocate for for cancer awareness and you go to be clear to be clear if you're going to accept the throne of greatness of being a cancer advocate where were you before your mother passed away you weren't right. on it so you know just dial it you know pump the brakes on your greatness a bit i'm not saying i'm great and i'm not saying you're graham that's not what i'm all but oh, but absolutely. but this elevation this elevation of status when people do something right. like that you go just just the point I'm making is you will respond to things that are important to you, and that is absolutely fine. But you might want to think a little bit about your future, your environment, and also <clears throat> when you vote, what it really is going to do. Not what you heard on YouTube, what it's going to do, what it's really right. going to do. Um, you're right. As someone outside looking in, and I've seen this on a lot of these social media things, um, people around the world look at this U.S. election and go, it's extraordinary. I'll be honest yeah. with you. It's extraordinary, again, that you have two candidates like that. It's extraordinary mm -hmm. to me. Now, I'm not saying the candidates here are any better. So just be clear. We're not, we're not throwing stones from our glass houses at all. Right. But it is the world's biggest economy. It, because of that, when it shits, the whole world stinks and, right. and vice versa. So you either say, I'm living in a country that is this great that has mm -hmm. this ripple effect in the world, and I accept that responsibility, or I leave and I go and live on an island somewhere, and I don't have to worry about what effect my country has on the world. But if you right. live there, just know that whatever the person sitting in the White House does is going to affect the entire world. They don't say leader of the free world just for fun. And so if you accept that responsibility, then all the other things come with it. You can't be, you can't be the boss and say, I'm not responsible for the workers. Right. I'm not saying America is the boss, and I'm not saying the rest of the world are the workers, but you should get the metaphor. If you sit on the throne, whatever it is, you know, then you have a responsibility. If you're not happy with that, then deport your ass out of there and go somewhere. I mean, I can tell you now, if we have a financial crisis here right. or something happens, no one in the world gives a shit. It doesn't affect yeah. Anyone. In fact, they look at South Africa and they go, yeah, whatever, some dumb shithole African country. Um, yeah. We've got guys sitting at the BRICS conference right now. As you know, South Africa, Brazil, yeah. Russia, India, China, South Africa. And we've got our president over there saying, yes, we love Russia. Then the opposition group in South Africa, which is almost as big, are saying, we want nothing to do with Russia. Right. So if you, do, if you drill down, you do a bit of homework, you will find out that the majority of people in this country don't necessarily uh, subscribe to what our idiotic leaders say. And that's true of every country. So yeah, but my point problem. is there's, there's more to it. There's more to it than yeah. people 
make out. So when you come to an election, you can't just go along and say, yeah, I'm pro-abortion, I'm going to vote right. for her. He's anti-abortion, uh, I'm going to vote for him. Whatever it is, there are bigger issues at stake. And the, and I think the average person doesn't yeah. know that though. That's yeah, problem. but I don't give like, a shit. No, but you, Steve, but this is not a. I don't give a shit. Average, it's no. the average idiot that's voting. Tough. That's tough. Tough. Then then that therein lies the problem. Then no, I'm you, aware. Then therein lies the problem. No, you you I'm are aware. you might be an average Joe, but you're not living in an average country. Correct. And and therein is the frustration for the entire planet. And um, that so comes to there education. it is. It comes to education and parenting. It goes, there's a whole list of why. When I grew up as a kid in, in you know, in the, in the Stone Age, when you there was fire and, you know, we discovered it and you lived in a cave, you had to know what was going on. Like your mom and dad would be like, you know, read. I was reading the Wall Street Journal at six and seven and watching the nightly business news on PBS because I wanted to know. Um, and that's how I was raised. You that's must know everybody this is with me. Well, I understand that. But the problem <laughs> is, though, because we don't teach kids anything anymore. I mean, there's this thing called history that apparently doesn't exist. Because we don't teach that and people don't read, there's a book called It Can't Happen Here. It was written in the 30s. And literally, if you read it, it's yeah. a Trump election playbook, right? I just read it because one of our economists was on a couple months ago. And he said, you should read it. I read it. I was like, oh, my God. So my whole thing is people don't look at history. They don't read. They don't see things. So then when an election comes, it becomes like, oh, look at this guy. He can beat her up and blah, blah, And I also think because America is still kind of a misogynistic country that we don't want a female president. And I was like, well, I'm, she, at least you have democracy. Now, I'm not saying Trump's going to screw up democracy. He's just made statements that sound like he's going to. And let's assume that he lives up to it. So if to your point, if America is the big bad policeman for the world, and Trump mm. just say, let's Russia now roll in with the North Koreans through the Ukraine. They're going to go to mm. Poland. Now NATO has to step up. So now what? We have World War III. What's going to happen? And I'm just saying, and I know he talks tariffs and he talks immigrants. He talks talking points about I'm going to make companies stay here or I'm going to kick them out. That's all great. But you need to have Congress approve pretty much everything you're saying um, and I'm assuming there'll be five or six people in Congress that have triple IQ points that in the Senate that have a clue, but you can't just make this 1939 Germany. And that's where it seems when you listen okay. to the speeches and the rhetoric and you listen to his new Goebbels, which is Musk. Thank you very much. Um, for You're sending welcome. Them. Yeah. yeah You're welcome. You. Um, You're welcome. people don't seem to look at that and just say, there's an issue. I mean, Musk is giving you that million dollar a day prize if you register. The Department yeah, of Justice I heard that. is like, dude, I heard that. you can't do that. That's illegal. Like, yeah, you well, have you'll a do problem. It. So you'll do if it. Trump becomes president, of course, there won't be a problem. If he doesn't become president, there's a there is it not a problem. Okay, Steve. Know, Steve. So the issues. Yes. Steve, all I want to say is we we've we've, yeah. we've walked around this uh pond before. And yeah. and it's it's I would say, if, if we want to drill down and talk about a problem, because this was another question I wanted to ask about campaign yeah. periods, but here we go. Um, the issue is not really about screaming the issues of people who don't understand. Right. I, I have to say, if, if, you, if, if one feels strongly about that, you have to say, what, what, is, what, what information is not getting to people that need to hear it? Right. And there's a lot. And, and it's partly because um, it's not there, but also because people are not listening. Then you say, why are they not listening? And when I lived in the States, I lived in a red town. So I heard a lot of the talking points for what might be called the MAGA people now. Mm -hmm. And I used to hear what people would say. And one of my friends, he's a good guy. I mean, I'm mean, i I'm not going to take it away. I'm not, I'm not like enemies with a guy because he supports a different view to mine. But mm -hmm. He, uh, I mean, he campaigned, and he probably is campaigning for Trump. And he is a very educated, uh, decent man. He just right. is. Now, you can disagree with his viewpoints, but he is a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm good friends with him, and we joke about how we differ. And it's just a pity that more people there can't do that. And I agree. What I'm, what I'm saying is that the more you tell people, let's say... Let's say, for instance, what's an issue for you? What's a what's a what's a what's a talking point that Republicans have that you are really pissed about? Just just pick one, just one. 
One. Go. Not, they don't have any talking points. Neither do Democrats. No, but no, but no, one issue. One issue. Is it guns? Is it abortion? They don't have any. No, 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 Steve, they do. For people who for live me. in Los No, I know, but I'm just trying <laughs> to understand. You see, but you're also not listening. What I'm saying is you have people, uh, someone who's going to vote for Trump, there are right. certain things that are absolutely oh. critical. And, and so I'm just saying, yeah. off the top of my head, I can tell yeah. you things like gun rights, abortion, right. anti-abortion, these are, I don't know if I'm right, but those are some of the things that they're important. Like they believe they, they're what they call um, pro-life. Okay. Right, right. Let's just, let's just take, all right, let's take the fun one of pro-life. All right. Okay. Now I listen to people in the town I live in explain to me what the pro-life thing is about. Okay. okay. Now let's say you're a, you're, you're not some media savvy uh, chap and you live in one of these so-called flyover states and you okay. are, and you've always, and you come from a Republican family, which, by the way, is fine. That's not a problem. Yeah. And and you're sitting there, and you all you want is you want your, I don't know, your beer on a Friday afternoon. You just want to make sure your kids are kids are okay. And you also happen to subscribe to the view that abortion is wrong. That's right. what you have grown up with. The town right. you live in. And let's be honest. A lot of America is. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. We've argued about this, but that doesn't help change right. a thing right, the right. people are there the realities they are there so you live in you 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 come across people who have a very they have a strong spiritual religious background a lot of america's like that steve a, a, a massive amount and 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 there's a lot of conservative people and they believe that's important now if, i always say if you want your point to be acknowledged and respect you have to look at why what is what is it about them? And they have every right to have that viewpoint. Now, that being said, the way, if you're ever going to change anything at all, is you've got to sit down with that bloke, that person, and say, listen, you know what? I agree with you. And on a personal note, my mm -hmm. wife and I, and we've said this, I've told this to you off the air or whatever, mm -hmm. We, for us, for us, my wife and I, when we were young and we got together, we, right. we went through all these things. We went through, do we want kids? Do we, what is our spiritual belief? Blah, 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 career thing. You've got to have those discussions if you're going to share the rest of your life with someone. And the one thing that came up big time was abortion. And it turns out my wife and I decided, unless her, this is another topic, but basically, it, unless she was in mortal danger, right? no discussion, and then, yeah. then goodbye. But yeah. We looked at things like Down syndrome. What if the doc said you're gonna, your kid's going to be Down syndrome or he's going to have 10, he's going to have three eyes or whatever, some birth defect. We both said as troubling and as challenging as that would be, we would not abort. We were not in favor of abortion. And, and personally for us as a couple, we would do everything we could not to abort. That would be the last step. Right. right. Now, that being said, my neighbor... Uh, can do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. If his daughter goes out and she meets some guy, and two months later she goes, "Oh, look at that! You do what you do. You, yeah. I have no right to tell you." So, I agree. What, what I'm saying. So, just to be clear, that's my position. That's mm -hmm. my position. But now, you have a situation where that very personal thing is now on the political stage, rightly right. or wrongly. It's sitting there. It's there. And for some people, that is very, very important. And you have to say, you have to look at them across the table and say, okay, let's 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 respect each other's point of view and let's just see how we can <laughs> wait, wait, just wait, wait. Now, Steve, let me finish. This is the problem. You've got to allow that conversation to happen. Now, I don't know how you do it, but you're not having that conversation. So what is happening right now is you've got this giant polarity. So when you raise a very important issue, whether it be elderly care or health care or whatever it is. If you have a hint of blue on you, when you speak to someone like that, they will ignore everything you say mm -hmm. because they will believe that what you're saying comes from a non-credible source, rightly or wrongly. And the reverse, I'm afraid, I've seen is true. There are some Republican people, many that I've heard speaking, that have raised points, and I go, not necessarily abortion or, or whatever, but other things. And you go, that's a very good point. But but mm -hmm. you will have the people on the blue side going, nah, it's Republican, full of shit. They, they, they're crazy. The batch are crazy. Mm -hmm. And they will equate people like my mate who lives over there with, with Trump 
or the Republican mm -hmm. Party and just say, you're all batshit crazy and the message is not listened to. So you have a massive communication problem. And that's why no good issues are going to get, get through. No one is. That's why you have two candidates that are not talking about policy because if Trump is standing in front of, and I would assume that he's standing in front of supporters at a rally, uh, mm -hmm. he can say, uh, Ronald McDonald is purple. And they'll go, yes, he can say whatever he wants. I would I would also say to some extent, Kamala Harris could do that at a Democratic Repub uh, rally. She could say whatever she wants. She's mm -hmm. not going to say stupid shit, but let's say she does. They will just go, well, that's odd. Yeah, but okay. So right. it's not so much about policy as about who is delivering the message. So you've basically got a Super Bowl final, to put it in your lingo. You've got a Super yeah. Bowl final, and you've got two opposing teams, and that's really, as an outsider, what I see. So nothing important is going to get discussed. It's just, is my team going to win? And that's if, so you. If I may. so you so hang on, hang on, let me finish. So okay. so all you seeing, all you seeing. So if the coach of the opposing team says, you know, I think our our, our the other guys have got a great, they've got some great players. No, they don't, and mm -hmm. vice versa. So you've gotten to the point where no one's talking to each anybody. It's literally two opposing teams opposing. I mean, the truth. The truth is, if you look at what the Republican Party is about, what the Democratic Party is about, you go. If you actually read the literature and go through, if you if you bored and you mm -hmm. or you have an IQ above ninety and you go through all of that, you will see that it's like a Venn diagram. Most of it mm -hmm. overlaps. Yeah, but there are but there are a couple of things, and I mean. A lot of the issues aren't even Republican Democrat issues, which is really quite extraordinary. Uh, these red, these red hot issues, they are just things that social media and commentators have pulled up. Um, you will find conservative Democrats who might actually consider a pro life message. You will find liberal Republicans who go, "Yeah, I mean, six weeks is a bit short, you know, to be determining whether someone should be allowed to have an abortion or not." Um, but that those people in the middle. And I would say that the majority of Americans are probably like that. They're moderate people who, who, who no, I, I know what you're going to say, Steve, but I've, I've met a lot of folks there who, are, who just want shit to carry on. They want a normal life. They're right. tired of all the fighting. They're sick and tired of it. And they just want to have a normal life. But they get pulled into all these camps right. and nothing really gets, nobody's talking to each other. But this isn't what I wanted. To, I didn't want to talk about that lack of communication. I just wanted to say that. I don't think much is going to change as an outsider, and someone mm -hmm. can rip me apart for that. The Constitution that is there kind of ensures that. Uh, mm -hmm. The founding fathers that you refer to, hang on, the founding mm -hmm. fathers that you refer to literally set up a situation, and I'm not going to get into the detail. I've read the Constitution. I understand the three uh, tiers of government. Uh, I would definitely pass my citizenship test, not a problem. I'm not sure if Trump would, but that's another story. Um, they understood that people are fucked up. They understand mm -hmm. that. And they wanted to make sure there would be no boss. They literally set yeah. it up so there would be no boss because they came. They came from Europe and places like yeah. that where there was a king. And they said, we're not doing that again. And in that sense, it's one of the finest pieces of legislation ever written. And they did make Great. it clear that it could be amended. They, mm -hmm. they made that very clear. And in fact, they insisted it. We had this discussion before that the, the guys who put it together were children. They were, they were young. Yeah. They're all together, except for Franklin. Yeah, they were young. They were young, and they and they said, "Look, we we're not perfect, but there it is. This is the start. You guys take it and and make mm -hmm. what you want of it." And what you the situation you have now is nothing like that. It's nothing right. like that. And as you say, they would be spinning in their graves, right. saying, "What the so, hell happened?" So here's but, a few anyway. a few things based on what you said. So. I, which is funny because I'm, I'm, I must be magenta because I'm a mix between red and blue, right? So I'm probably, I agree. I, the Republicans at least have, how do I put it? They at least have policy. They go, okay, you have policy. The Democrats don't seem to have a policy. So I lean more Republican than I do Democrat, which is interesting. But I also lean more democracy. And then I also, mm. I have friends that are Republicans and Democrats and communists and independents and social. I could give a crap. At the end of the day, when we go and have cigars and we have our scotch and we're just talking, 
we're just yeah. we exchange the idea. Someone goes, I think abortion's this. It's like, cool, that's whatever you think. Like it's I yeah. whatever my opinion is. Good. And what are we and everybody listens and nobody really care. It's like we care, but we don't. We like it's your opinion. You're allowed to have your opinion. It's just like a cigar or a scotch. You don't like it, you like mm. it. So it's the same thing here. The problem is, is now we have um an ostrich and an orange man. And it's not like it's 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 I said this a year ago. It's like dumb and dumber. Um, somebody made a comment in one of our shorts that said you can't vote for her and you really don't want to vote for him. So who's the lesser of the two evils? And I was like, you know, that's a good question, because the Democrats aren't saying anything. And as much as Trump gives rhetoric, at least he gives something. And and yeah. Camilla going well, yeah, he vote does. for me. If, if if Camilla's like, well, if you vote for me, you save democracy. And that let's just assume for that for this one little segment, that's true. Yep. But right. Camilla, you were like kicking his butt. All you had to do was come out and say, here's going to be our immigration policy. Here's going to be our this policy. Like when they ask mm. her, she has no policy. So the Democrats are playing ostrich. So good, bad, or evil. If Mr. Trump wins. Mr. Trump wins on Mr. Trump's merit because at least Mr. Trump, listen, he's a New Yorker. I get it. I'm a New Yorker. At least he's saying shit. And at the end mm -hmm. of the day, people want a president who say stuff. Now, whether he can do everything he says, whether it's legal or illegal, that that's, I'm sure, going to be a whole nother thing. Whether Elon Musk becomes his Goebbels or not, we'll find out. Whether we're going to have different laws, whether we have a concept, all that, fine. At the end of the day, we'll find out. The problem is right now, is that when she came in, she could have, if someone would have prepped her better, come in and kicked ass, and Mr. Trump would not win. Now Mr. Trump is on every YouTube show. I think he's coming on ours. Um, you know, everyone, he's on every show. And it's like, great. But he's talking and she does nothing. I know, I, I talk with my hands. I'm very Jewish. And no, but this is... This is no, the Trump dance. Have you seen the Trump off. dance? That's the Trump dance. He's jerking two guys off at once. That's the new dance. That's the official U.S. Yeah, dance now. Steve, 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 yeah. Steve. Okay, yeah. listen. Hey, yeah. what, what what I want to say is uh, that's exactly right. The, this this idea, this idea that he says something, it doesn't yeah. matter what he what he says. Honestly, I mean that's he true. He gives something. a shit. Who, right. who gives a shit what a politician says? Do we believe any right. politician? No, bullshit. Right. Um, now. Um, he was going to make Mexico pay for the wall. They didn't, and no one All cares. Right. So you're absolutely right. But but this is, if I may say, yeah. um, first of all, and and I'm, or I, I hope I'm, I don't think I'm wrong because I've, okay. I think I understand the constitution. I think I understand how the government works there. Right. Um, even if he gets in, right? right? Okay. Even if he wins, yeah. uh, I would say a very low percentage of what he claims he can do will even be possible. But it doesn't matter because right. it demonstrates intent. And that is what people like. They want to know who you are, what are your intentions? So yeah. that is why, that is why on whatever the date is, whenever this is broadcast, this, this, I would say, as it stands right now, as an outsider, I mm -hmm. think he's got, I think he's got the upper hand. Forget yeah. the polls. And I'll tell you why I think he's got the upper hand. And if you don't like it, then do something about it, you know, vote or whatever. Right. But the reason why he's in good shape is because <laughs> you don't have to agree with a word he says, but he gets out there, he's 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 present, he's visible, right. he's talking shit or he's whatever, he's serving right. fries. You can you can you can make fun of the way he does it, which everybody right. is doing, but he's he's doing stuff right. and, and he and he looks he looks like a character, he looks mm -hmm. he looks you can't say the man is boring. You you right. can't say he's not interesting. He is interesting. We're yeah. talking about him. Everybody talks yeah. about him. So he's a big character. I heard the producers of The Apprentice the other day apologizing for creating him, and I thought, "You're full of shit. You didn't. Right. It, it, he was. He's been around forever." And but Don anyway. created himself. Yeah. Yeah, Don created himself. But you again, you don't have to agree with him, but you have to say. The man has this unwavering belief in himself, mm -hmm. rightly or wrongly, which is attractive to, Americans. as you mentioned, average people. They go, yeah. yes, what is it? Uh, he's, a, he's the poor man's idea of what a rich man is. He's the idiot's idea of what a smart man is. And then there's another one I can't remember right now. So 
They like him. They 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 don't have to agree with him. They, right. Dennis Quaid called him his asshole. That's what yeah. he called him. You can call think what he's he's my he's my asshole, right? You call him an asshole. He's my asshole. I like him. I like him. He's a presence. And Kamala Harris, um, from the outside, just I always like to put this from the outside. Um, I don't know that they were saying that she was doing well. Mm -hmm. What she have along the campaign? She was doing well. The campaign. She had 60 days, I think they mentioned, of right. unbelievable momentum. And then uh, she stopped talking about herself and started talking about Trump. And everybody right. went, nah, you know, we know about we're Trump. Yeah. We know what we, we're done. So stop bitching about him. And what, what, so she's, she's missing an opportunity to keep mm -hmm. my, I would say, and I mean, anybody can ignore this. I mean, who, who, who am I anyway? Exactly. Fuck you. Who are you? But this is what I would say. If she has, if you're listening, Kamala, Stop right. talking about Donald Trump. Stop yeah, talking about Donald Trump. Don't I'm even mention self. his name. Don't yeah. even worry about it. Because I promise you, he's talking about himself. So don't worry about yeah. it. He's good. He's all good. You don't have to add to his media exposure. What I think people want to know is, who the fuck are you? What are you yeah. doing? What are you going to do for me, actually? And yes, I heard people saying, oh, he's being judged to a different standard. Of course he's being a different standard. Because people know Donald Trump. They know exactly where he is. And what yeah. he's about and what he isn't. They, they've known him for decades. Yeah. He can say whatever he wants. It's true. Oh, it's not fair. Tough shit. Yeah. Um, who is Kamala Harris? She's had four years or not even as a VP. And before that, uh, she wasn't even a great primary candidate for the Democratic Party. Right. I'm just, just putting it out there. No. And, and, and people who love her uh, will obviously get upset about that. But I'm saying... You don't care about the people already voting for her. You want people who are not voting for her, who are on the other camp, that you need You need to be saying to them, would you please consider her? And they right. will say, who is she? What is she right. about? Is she a Biden stooge? She, is she a Biden stooge? What's yeah. different about her? You know, blah, 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 tax right. credit, uh, whatever. We've yeah. got a guy who goes on stage. He, he, he jerks guys off. He serves fries. And he's right? fun. Look at him. Yeah. He's great. And, and he's, you know what? And you know what? Whether this is even true or not, he hears me. Your mm. your person there just ah, all this highfalutin right. stuff. We don't care yeah. about that. And that that may I say is why he's in good shape. Yeah. I don't give a sh you know. You you say people don't care. They they do, they do, but they don't have time to read the whole book. They right, want right, to right. see someone and say. Okay, who are you, Steve? What are you? Yeah. Just get yeah. to the point. What are you? And and I don't care whether you have tax credits and all this crap. Are you a fun guy? Do you serve fries at McDonald's? Do right, you? Right. Do you? Are you? How, I don't care if you're a bad dancer. They always make fun of him dancing. But at least he's yeah, yeah. dancing. At least he's doing, yeah, he's fun doing something. Stuff. Right? Yeah, he's he's always doing something. Yeah. I don't I know agree. whether it's him or his media people, but he's oh, in my. great he's in yeah. great shape because yeah. he's. I would say that all the people that voted him before, this would be an interesting stat. If you could yeah. poll the number of people that voted him for him before right. and the number of people voting for him now and do the yeah. same for the Democrats or whatever, the Biden-Harris, whatever the ticket is now, right. I'd be interested to see how loyal, how the loyalty has, mm. has, has shifted. And I would, I would, I would, I would suggest that, that the Trump camp, very loyal, very loyal, they, because they know who he is and he's done nothing to suggest that he's anyone else. Right. And and even even the Democrat folks, they know who he is. Yeah. You can see what he is. The, 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 the last, what was it, 2016 when I lived there, um, they, were, they, they said that, um, um, what was it, college or non-college educated uh, 30, 40, 50 something women yeah. who you would have thought wouldn't yeah. have voted for him. They Can't said, yeah, but you know, he's a guy and you know what guys are like, but we know him. We can see him. We, we right. trust him. And we're yeah. not necessarily trust him, but we can see him. They looked at Hillary and said, yeah, bitch. I know you. what you, and it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether Hillary had a master plan and Trump had no plan. When people right. got in the booth, they said, yeah, who would I have at a party? Who's more fun? Who's, yeah. you know, who, who can I see more? And you can't argue, <laughs> you right. can't argue that Very there's simple. anything mysterious about Trump. There's nothing mysterious about him. And then the therein issue. lies the conundrum. So I would yeah. just say to Kamala Harris and her people, if they even give a shit what I'm saying, look, don't, stop talking about Trump. 
Um, right. do, do something fun. Seriously, do something on, fun. Um, um, yeah, d d listen, think about the people who are right. voting for Trump. Get inside their head. Do some damn homework. Oh, they're so deplorable and whatever. Do some dancing. Do some, yes, exactly. But I'm saying get inside. Right. It, you don't need the choir to sing along with you. You've got the choir. Yeah. Don't worry about the choir. Yeah. It's all the people outside the church that you want to bring in. Right. who are going, ah, I don't believe in that crap. Okay. So you've got to go and and the, 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 the mistake these people make, the mistake these people make is they go on talk shows, for example, that it's mm -hmm. just a freaking echo chamber. Everybody yeah. loves them. What is yeah. this? A freaking pop concert. Obviously, mm -hmm. all these people love you. That's not going to move the needle at all. So what do right. you mean? I mean, understand something. I watch Colbert. I think he's great. Uh, mm -hmm. He's fun, whatever. But Kamala Harris going on to Stephen Colbert, well, that's what you would expect, right? right. I want to see her go on something like Gutfeld or something like that. Go on his show. In yeah. fact, go uh, Pete Buttigieg or whatever his name was, he would go all over Fox News, and people enjoyed yep. that. She should do the same thing. Put yourself out there. Make yourself vulnerable. Is it going to go well? I don't know, but who do you want to talk to? You want to convince those people. Your right. people. Okay. You're fine. You're okay. But they don't know who you are. They have, she well, can't they, convince her people, they, though. They, yeah, she can't but that's, that's the problem. Obama's out there telling black men yeah, but, to vote for her. She yeah, can't but, convince her own people. Can I, can I say this? What, what I find extraordinary is when I lived there, and I was working as a, as a voice actor, and, yeah. and, and, and you'll understand what I'm saying. I really enjoyed um, the standard, the, the 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 standard of work, the the directors, the producers, some the best right. in the world. I learned so much, um, and it, it it's a fantastic industry over there. And I sometimes still do projects over to the U.S. But one thing, one thing I heard more than anything in every studio that I ever worked in in New York City, and I right. just thought. They've got this information. Why don't they tell Kamala Harris this? The word that every casting director said to me was, yeah, sure, you have to have a great voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you've got to be authentic. You've there got to you be go. Believe you've got to be yeah. believable. We, right. we will cast someone. We will cast someone with an even an average voice. But right. when he speaks, when he speaks, and we go, wow, damn, he's... Yeah. He's on point. Now, I'm saying take that lesson, Kamala Harris, and go on a talk show and mm -hmm. put the talking points down. Right. Put them down. Forget about that. People know you don't like Donald Trump, so don't right. mention him. Don't worry about right. it because the Trump people are going, yeah, here we go again. And yeah. the Democrat people are going, yeah, give it to him. Right. And nothing changes. So right. what are you doing? I mean, it's there are even Democrats that I know of that are going, I don't quite know who Harris is. Yeah. Maybe I'll yeah. just maybe I'll just go with with Trump. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, come on, he's a bit of a whack job, but you know, I mean, yeah, I had more money in my bank account when he was the president. So I'm. It's good. not really true, though. But okay, I know it isn't true. We've discussed this, but it <laughs> right, doesn't right. matter. I understand. It doesn't matter. Right. I've watched reporters, CNN reporters. I've watched them go to Trump rallies. And mm -hmm. there was a Democrat guy standing there, and they said to him, why are you now voting for Trump? And he said, because during Trump's presidency, I, you know, gas was cheaper and blah, blah, blah. We've discussed economic lag yeah, and yeah, yeah, highfalutin no, no, stuff. No, no, no. Just, and we can say this was because, but he, yeah. but he is a simple Joe. I'm not saying he's silly, he's stupid, but he's a simple Joe. He wants a simple life. And during Trump, he had X, yeah, Y. Yeah. And now he doesn't have X and Y. And he's right. going... What the hell? Here we go. He's back again. He's dancing. He's jerking guys off. He's fun. He serves fries in a McDonald's. Right. I mean, is he perfect? Nah. Is he Who gonna? Is? is he? Is he going to do all these things the Democrats say? I don't think so. Yeah, let's go with him. I mean, who is who is Kamala Harris anyway? That's what's going on in his mind. He doesn't know who she oh. is. And remember, and remember, remember, if you go back and look at the primaries, and I remember this. I remember some of the debates between Biden and Harris. Yeah, yeah. I remember those when they were yeah. opponents trying to get the Democratic ticket. And and just have a listen to that because I guarantee you um, the Trump people have. And they will play that to anybody who wants to listen. Look at that. Oh, look at what she was. Look, now. Look, look at what she is now. So, yeah. so the point is if you actually want to have a hope in hell, yeah. I know this is risky politically, but what she should be doing is she should say things like, they say in politics you shouldn't admit anything. 
Right. Sure. But right now, right now, mean everything. If, somebody, if somebody says to you, you were position A and now you're position B, you shouldn't say you weren't. You should say, right. I was. I fucked up. I learned. Now, yeah. is that going to convince a lot of people? No. But it might convince a few because those few might go, okay, I mean, I changed my mind. It's, it's what it yeah. is. But they always, what politicians always do, and they definitely do it here, is they don't, it's not about admitting anything. It's about conceding right. that you may have been wrong. That's okay. Be right. authentic. Be authentic. Right. That's what people want. I remember when George Bush um, was the king there, and people used to say, yeah, but he, he's such an ordinary bloke. And I had American friends who said, that's the point. You yeah. would have a beer with this guy. Uh, right. What was the other fool? What was the guy that he was? Um, they said, Al Gore, he looks like he's too uptight. And yeah. that's what people would say to me. That's what the ordinary Joe would say to I mean, me. It's a, you know, Al, Al Gore may be right, but he's so uptight, you know? Yeah, yeah. George Bush, I could have a bill. I mean, I like Georgie. How are you, motherfucker? Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. You know? And the president or the has got to be relatable. And I don't think, mm. I would say that she's suffering from Hillary Clintonitis. She is. I agree. She looks, she looks a little distant. Now, you yeah. can disagree with me, obviously. But if you're a Democrat, you would. But if you're a Republican, you're going to go exactly. And who are you? And whose vote? Whose vote do you want? You know, you've yeah. got the Democrat guy, so you need to change the guy who's going to vote red. And he's right. thinking, or she's thinking, ah, oh, she's all with this college educated, high mighty, whatever. And yeah. at that point, they're not listening to her. She can yeah. be. I I saw a thing the other day that said that her her economic plan is fast. They got twenty Nobel laureates or whatever it is. They all right. think her economic plan is better than Trump's. You sure. know what it might be? So what? Yeah. The guy that's a farmer in Idaho doesn't yeah. give a shit. And he's going to go. Figure oh. out where the farmers are, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Since there's nothing really left. So oh, by yeah, the way, you, I, should, you should know that Idaho, I know that Idaho and Montana were one state at one point. I just want to be. Yeah. I know my history. Thank you. I know oh, my history. Yeah, that's right. I know my we're, history. We're, yeah. We're was the, Mon here in the Montana territory. I know it very well. Don't you worry? Yeah, okay. But my here's what's really I agree with everything you say. And yeah. unfortunately, the Harris campaign will not agree with it. And so I said this the other day on the show. Um in on in January, when we have our swearing in of the new president, it'll be Mr. Trump. And unless he does something in the next 10 days so stupid. Which with him, yeah, not sure. Uh, he would but have he to will, and it won't change anything. It depends what it is. I mean, like he'd have to really like run, drive a car, and like run over seven people, and maybe it would change something, or have sex with a goat, or something. Um, no, that wouldn't change other anything. Other than that, I get. Yeah, and other than that, no. And if, unless Harris gets out there and starts doing the crazy dances and starts going, "I'm Harris, and here's who I am," and blah 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 blah, and being okay. as I, she I doesn't this, and that, nutty as he is. Yeah, he's winning. It's that simple, and that's fine. She doesn't look normal. She doesn't yeah, look well, normal. That's all I'm going to say. True. I'm going to summarize yeah. and say she doesn't look like. And why do all um, the president, female president candidates, always wear pantsuits? Are there no dresses? Do they not have dresses for these people? Put them in a dress. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? Her and Hillary and all. What are you guys? Are you closet lesbians? I mean, enough with the pantsuits. I want, oh, like, if you're wow. a female president, I want you in a dress, and I'm talking short, sexy, like the 60s <laughs> with some boots or stilettos. I want you to look hot as my president. Listen, I'll say one thing for Trump. Yeah. I mean, he's a little chubby, and I know he says he's 200 pounds. I'm thinking he may be off. Yeah, of right. However, at, at, a, wears, at a time. At a time, he was. <laughs> I think his one leg is. But he wears a suit. A nice red tie and a white shirt, and it's pretty predictable. He's going to dress like a, whatever. And every time I see these females running for office, enough of these friggin' pants. I want you in something short and sweet, sexy, show your boobs, something to get people going, hey, now I'm going to vote for her. And that's as pathetic as America's election is. We're a misogynistic yeah. country. If Harris would wear a low-cut blouse and a short skirt, everyone's going to be like, I'm voting for this chick. Because all of a sudden now, she has stepped out of the mold of, I have to look presidential. And I have to do, no, you don't. You have to be a person. And Trump um, has been around since the 70s, or, the, or at least the, the early 80s. He knows the game. The same person 
forever. Yeah. He has never Boy. changed. Even his hair yeah. has never changed. So he's the same guy. Steve, Steve, yeah. Yeah. the word is authentic. Thank you very much. Now, well. I didn't say I didn't say you can be. You had to be good. You just have to right. be authentic. You can be authentic, correct. And let's be honest. Uh, the bad boy stereotype is still He's around, good. and, he and good girls and good girls like bad boys. They do, yeah. and and you can you can run a mile and go, yeah, oh, it's not true. Well, it kind right. of is, and I know that because my wife married me. <laughs> there you go. I so, think but, but, you know but, what, Camilla yeah. Harris should do an interview, and she should talk about all the dicks she grabbed. He should be like, you know, I grab dicks. Billy Bush should come back for that, and they should do an <laughs> interview where she goes, I grabbed a bunch of dicks but, and see what happens. That, that'd be great. But don't you I, – I often see when when comedians uh, – I mean, I'm not going to mention names, but there's a lot of comedians that that uh, obviously discuss things and they make it yeah. part of their set. And you see the comments that people say, this guy should run or this woman should run yeah. for president. But there's something to be said for that because yeah. – what what people are saying is we just want someone we can we can it's not even about relating to someone we actually right. think might be that might be them yeah, that yeah. might be real that that is them and, right. and 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 until let me put it this way when Donald Trump is at home having a conversation and mm -hmm. I might be absolutely out of line here I yeah. bet you most of what he says is very similar to what he says at a rally. He's, I agree. He, he just the same yeah. shade of orange, yeah. whatever, is <laughs> yes. in his is in yeah. his house as it. I agree. So, but but that's very important because if you if you and I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the the the, the female vote again because the female vote got Donald Trump in last time and I right. think it might do it again because they look at Kamala Harris and they go I see you bitch I see mm -hmm. you and you're something else at home and I don't know what I'm getting at because you can. Of course, Donald Trump's going to tell you what you want to hear, but I, right. I think he makes no bones about it. Right. And you, you know that. I want, yeah. This is what I am. Whereas you don't know where she is. And right. Hillary Clinton ran into that problem. That women, yeah. and I'm just talking about what the women said. They said, yeah, well, you know, who is she? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, like, I don't know what they, who that bitch is. The yeah. guys, she had a lot of the male vote. Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. that was all locked up. The polls are all worked Whoa. out. But these, but these, oh, oh, but these, uh, <laughs> these older white women went. Right. Mm, I don't think yeah. so. And I think they're yeah. gonna. I think they're gonna do it I'm again. Too. I, um, agree. I just want to say one thing before because I know we have a time, and that is the next time. The 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 other question I wanted to ask is how come? How come? And this okay. is this is weird. Sure. You have a vote on the fifth of yeah. November, and let's yeah. say it takes a week to absolutely yeah. figure it out. Let's sure. say, let's say I'll give you till the end of November and sure. you know exactly who the new president is. Yeah. Why do you wait two months to get rid of them? Have you I, ever heard yeah, of I never the, understood that. Have you, to me, it's like have the you next ever, day, the fuck out. Yeah. When, when, when in the UK, when, when Boris Johnson was, he was goodbye, next day, yeah. goodbye, they're yeah. packing his, when Rishi Sunak, Rishi Sunak lost the yeah. last general election in the UK. I mean, they had trucks and stuff there that, that afternoon getting yeah. his shit out of 10 Downing Street. And the yeah. next morning, boom, you know, Keir Starmer was in. It was yeah, like, you, you out the, here, buddy. The people have spoken. What is this two-month crap? But this is the, but isn't the what? Because it's supposed to be a peaceful transition of power. But, but I have a question. Do you really bring your furniture? Like, if I'm, if someone says I'm the president of the United States, I'm assuming, and I could be wrong, yeah, yeah. that they have furniture there for me. I'm assuming there's, yeah. like, there's the Lincoln bedroom. I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm can we just move the bed? I mean, like, what the yeah. heck? But no, listen seriously. What what what's weird about it is you talk about the 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 peaceful transition to power. Well, yeah. Here's the thing: if you get fired from your job, Steve, you you're the boss of the company. You've got yeah. two months still left as the boss right. of that company. I mean, there's a chance you may change some things to keep you as the boss of the company. Yeah. However, if your board of directors fires you the next day, you're gone because yeah. if they leave you there for two months, you are going to do stuff. Maybe right. to not be, and I'm not. I'm not sanctioning or agreeing with anything he did or talking about right. January six, whatever. But the problem was, the country fired him, and then gave him two months or November, uh, 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 December, for more than two months to leave. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, he went. I didn't really lose. You, right, you right, have right. time. You go. These. What do you mean? You. What do you mean? I'm fired. Screw right. you. Yeah. Now I'm not. As I say it. It, if anything, it it 
it could stoke the fires of yeah. dissent. It's so get be, him out. Yeah, so if, it if, can be a crazy if, ride. If, Whoever lose, well, you don't really. No one's really going to lose now because obviously Biden, Biden. is leaving. Somebody, at but, some point, yeah, he goes. But get the new, yeah, but get yeah. the new person in there like the next we day. Don't, we don't, we don't, we don't do that here because we put like Joseph. I said, they, they must be furniture. Put him in there. Send, send Joseph to Delaware Beach and enjoy yeah. the sunshine and and get the get him the hell out of there and get your new person in there so they can start work and get going and and yeah. be a dictator on the first day. I don't know. Well, I, I I read I've read a couple books of like when the president I like the dictator on the first day I I read a couple books that when they do win like they have about a month of meetings with like the CIA the NSA the Pentagon they have all these meetings so they get brought up to speed and for some of them that have never been a president like here's what you have to by the way this is shit you need to know and they're like oh cool so they're like prepping them so it's almost like um like a but everybody has that problem Steve I'm every, sure. every other Every country yeah. has that problem. Where you you lose the election, the next day you're gone. What's this yeah. two and a half months crap? I, I don't. I don't know. Well, you know what? Weird. If we could get if the, when Donnie comes on the show, because you know Donnie yeah. wants to come on, because you know he oh. loves us. Um, Donnie, we can ask him. Donnie, what do you guys do for two months? Why don't you but, just leave? But, and 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 I and I'm guessing you'll accept Junior or Eric as well. Sure, why not? I, sure, why not? The guy That'd shoots animals, and yeah, I accept his daughter Ivanka too. Why not? Oh, any of the Trumps, <laughs> <somehow. Be awesome. laughs> So, listen, we've invited the Trump team on. We've invited the Harris team on. David, which people know from the other shows, has sent letters to them saying we would be more than happy for your candidate to come on. David's even sent a letter to Putin's people to ask Putin to come on one of our shows. He's let, he, he, you know, David's a prostitute, right? He's emailed everybody and he got one letter back. And oddly enough, out of the hundred politicians globally, he's emailed a politician that came back. His Putin's people said, give us a few months to think about it and see who you are and we'll get back to you. And that's been about a few months. And I laughed when he told me he got a letter wow. from Putin's people. Wow. I that's just fell on the floor laughing. I'm like, seriously? Out of everybody, the Harris campaign didn't respond. The Trump campaign doesn't respond. The British people, the Japanese, the Chinese, no one. North Korea, no one. Putin's people responded to us. And I was like, that is awesome. So at least they read the emails. That is so, interesting. That yeah, is interesting. So, we may have Putin on one day, and I'm okay with that. So, because we are, we want people to be able to express themselves without worrying about, you know, anything. Like, like we're doing here. Yeah, and that's and this and that's the whole point. It's like uh, somebody wants to come on. We've had a presidential candidate come on, Lost Dollar Business Club. I can't remember his name, but he was so low down. But he was very interesting. We spoke to him for the hour, and he dropped out of the race like a month later. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so it was sort of like that was really cool. So we've had some of these people. It's just that everybody, like, then the fans will see the short and they'll go, who wants to come on your show? And I'm like, I don't know. You watch it, so you tell me. I mean, <laughs> it's the same thing. So, yeah, so we're open to anybody to come on the show. We would love Mr. Trump to come on the show. I mean, I listen, all you have to do is ask him one question. We don't have to say anything. He can go off for 30 minutes. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I, I watched him at the no Chicago Economic Forum last week. I don't agree with everything he says, but at least to our point of earlier, he's saying something. And then I watched Miss yeah, Harris talk talking. to somebody, keep and, and yeah. he doesn't, she doesn't say anything. And I'm like, please just say something. And that's where the problem is. So, well, you know, and you'll, know, you'll know soon enough, won't you? You'll know soon yeah, enough, won't 10 you? Days. Mm, well, yeah. maybe a month or two we'll know. But yeah, it'll be interesting. So are you back next week live to tell the fans yeah. something exciting? Mm -hmm. How exciting for us. All right. Are we done? That's it. We're done. We're done. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching live. And we'll be back next Thursday at 7 a.m. Central Time, 8 a.m. Eastern Time for the live show. We broadcast every Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Or you can look to it at Two Old Farts Making Noises wherever you get your podcasts. Cheers. Thank you so much for listening to this Harold Woods, Rob Vega, whatever the hell he wants to call himself, fellow. You know, this this podcast thing, it, it makes him feel very important and he's a difficult fellow as it is to deal with. So thank you so much for putting up with him and, and do take care.